You're watching local news that matters. This is Fox 44 News at 10. Again, Robert Carr. This was the scene in Bowdoin, Maine earlier tonight on Meadow Road. Law enforcement surrounded the last known address of the suspect in last night's deadly shootings in Lewiston. The Maine State Police tell CNN and other media outlets they didn't know if 40-year-old Robert Card was inside. In fact, reporters were just told the area surrounding the home is no longer a scene. Actually, a source familiar with the search in Bowdoin also told ABC News earlier there was no expectation the suspect will be apprehended at that location tonight. Law enforcement vehicles also seen leaving the area. People in Lewiston, Auburn and Greater Portland still no closer to catching this dangerous suspect. Thanks for joining us on a Thursday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. As the investigation continues, we're also learning more about some of the 18 people killed and 13 injured. Among those who died, the manager of the bowling alley where one of the attacks took place. 40-year-old Brian McFarlane, who was playing in a cornhole tournament at a restaurant and bar. His sister told CNN Today McFarlane was one of the first deaf people in the state of Vermont to ever obtain a commercial trucking driver's license. Here is Maine Senator Susan Collins during a news conference a few hours ago. I'm grateful for the leadership of Lewiston Police Chief St. Pierre and for the bravery of the hundreds of state, local, and federal law enforcement officers who are leading the search for the killer. As these tragic events have unfolded over the past 24 hours, many people living in Lewiston have to stay right where they are. And the American Red Cross of Northern New England is on the ground. So far, the organization that serves Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine has provided 175 blood products to hospitals in the Pine Tree State. And a spokesperson tells us they are ready to provide even more. They say tragedies like this show the importance of having a blood supply ready on the shelf and stressed the need for more donations. Now, roughly 1,800 students at Bates College, just one or two miles away from each shooting location, are still on lockdown at this hour. Dozens of those students are from Vermont. Fox 44's Matt Holderman spoke with two of them today while the school was on lockdown. He joins us in the newsroom with their stories. In the aftermath of Wednesday night's mass shootings in Lewiston, Maine, students at the nearby Bates College are counting their blessings and holding their friends a little bit closer, as many of them were out and about at the same time the shootings took place. For some of those students, they're waiting to reunite with their loved ones back home in Vermont, including third-year student Ben Huston, who grew up in Virgins. Stepping outside of the dining hall last night and hearing the sirens wailing around and just everywhere, not really knowing what was going on, it was really disconcerting and then finally hearing the news about what was going on it was sort of I was in disbelief for a little bit it was like you, you see these things on the news so often and I've gotten sort of accustomed to it but I've never been remotely close to um, having that be a part of my actual life. For the rest of the night Wednesday Huston spent time at a friend's dorm all of them glued to the TV watching the crime scene play out just down the street. Like everyone else on campus Huston then spent all day Thursday in lockdown minus the few time slots he was allocated to get food at the dining hall. Things are really weird on campus uh, right now. Everyone's a little rattled. People seeing friends again in the dining halls were um, hugging and having reunions and uh, I think everyone's just glad that that people on campus are safe and really feeling for um, Lewiston right now. One of the captains of the men's cross country team at Bates, Huston says he would run past the places the shootings happened on a regular basis with his team. Now he says he, along with his friends, hope the town they've grown to love can eventually go back to normal. You know, is this going to be how Lewiston is thought of now? It's uh, Is this going to be sort of the legacy of it a little bit? Another student who has a unique perspective on the shootings is Julia Brophy, a third year student from Waitsfield, Vermont. She's currently studying abroad in Panama and describes what it's been like watching the tragedy 
play out thousands of miles away. She sent me these messages Thursday, writing, quote, being concerned for those I care about from so far away is incredibly difficult. The magnitude of this incident is unlike anything I have gone through before, and the inability to look my friends face to face and be together is heartbreaking. This place and these people have and will continue to be such an important part of my life, and I am sending all of my thoughts home in hopes of everyone staying safe. Officials at Bates College have already canceled classes for Friday and are keeping the school on lockdown until further notice. They say they'll continue sending updates to students every few hours, letting those on campus know when it's safe to go outside once again. In the newsroom, Matt Holderman, Fox 44 News.